so um, working on the over under pass guys going to do three different variations of it ideally I want to hit this um, straight away so we look at hitting it very quickly we look at if he gets a shin in to stop me and then we look at a wee bit more deep so cars playing into the car again loads of different entrances into it um, usually if I go for under or over under I'm not going to do it from standing okay so we looked at all the different principles of our guard passing um, and the same thing applies if they have um, good principles stability structure and pressure same thing applies with all the, all the new passes we're doing and how they're all fit together so from this time I'm just going to go from combat base and one foot up position okay so again all I'm going to do is I'm going to step out with my left foot this way okay I'm going to do three things at once okay from here my forehead is going to hit Carl on the shoulder here my knee is going to come underneath his hamstring and my left arm is coming under as my right arm comes over okay so hence the name over under and I'm going to shell from this way okay so from combat base from this position and again I want to be using um, the same analogies as wrestling okay I'm going to be super tucked from combat base I don't want to be giving card anything to latch onto okay so from here I'll do it super slow I step out okay this knee's dropping this one's coming under and as I hit and I'm driving with this foot here I'm shelving his legs this way with my left forearm and driving this way to here okay and from here control the hip the cross face side control again so from combat base from this position I take a step out okay I drop my knee this one's coming under this one's coming over my head's heading here driving with this foot and as I make contact this is when I'm shelving this way see the way my knee's super tight from here control this the hip is closest to me one, two, three. And I'm here. So, again, from combat base. Yeah. So, from here, control. Okay, sometimes though, second variation is. Your opponent's not gonna um, just stay statically. Okay, sometimes when I try this um, and I come in, I might mistime it or car my move. And I get to this position here, and this shin, okay, car gets this shin right across my belt line. So we end up here, and there's this foot from here. So from this position here, I'm kind of caught in a static position. Um, let's turn around this way. Here. And again, I'm putting, just like um, we talked about with um, structure and um, st stability and pressure, all my pressure now is in Carl's right hip. Okay. Here. For me to actually shelf this leg through, I have to sit up to do this. But unfortunately, I'm taking my weight of his lower body. The good thing about the over under pass is it's a really good pass because I'm really putting all my pressure on his hips from here and it's hard for him to move. But unfortunately, if I try to shelf this out, okay, here and I lift my body up, I'm putting no weight on him and he's going to escape. So the detail is, guys, I'm going to tripod up, okay, from here. I still keep that shoulder pressure on him from here. I come up on my toes, I can shelf this way. Pass or here. I can try pot up and back step. Okay. So again, come back base, same pass. Alright, I want to be penetrating knee. Okay, over under position, hitting him here, but as I drive in, the shin comes in, 
Okay, so I need to recognize this. He threw up a, this roadblock. Okay, so from here, I can try to pull it up and shelf this, or if it's super, super tight, and I still can't do it when I, when I shelf this, I'm still keeping my pressure. My pressure, we'll look at it in the next variation, all the details of the pressures. I can back step here, shelf it, and from here, I bring my knee in, so I'm controlling this, this hip. We'll look at the counter, or car can go for that triangle. So from here, I gotta bring this over. Pressure. Okay, look at the first one again. So from here. Okay guys, so that's your over-under pass. Let's drill five on five. 